Hi everyone. Let's discuss about co-current Q test. Co-current Q test again. It is a non-parametric test. Uh, you could see here. I would just like to show you some outputs are here, right? Here is this kind of output. We will get it. We will test the hypothesis, and in that way, graphical representation we will get it. Now we come to the first of all we should understand what is the meaning of co-current q test uh, basically co-current q test is a um, measures whether the variance of two or more groups based on similar characteristics of each other a high probability value p is greater than 0.05 it indicates the variances of the groups do not differ significantly earlier also macnema test we have already done that was again a same example we will carry forward here in this uh, test a uh, co-current test it is a non parametric test when our data we had collected it is non parametric and that is applicable on paired nominal data it is simply a nominal data we don't require any interval that is not applicable on interval scale on the um, ratio scale data and it is applicable on dichotomous data what do you mean by dichotomous data yes or no right uh, suppose you you want to collect whether you are satisfied or you are not satisfied you are satisfied you will say yes and if you are not satisfied you will say no so in these two categories only you had collected data from your respondents and uh, in that way whether when you had collected data that is known as dichotomous data di means two di means there is di means two dichotomous data and it is applied to two by two contingency table with match pair of the subjects to find out whether row and columns margin frequencies are same and uh, this is the actual definition of this test measures whether the variances of two or more groups based on similar characteristics of each other a high probability value is greater than 0.05 that means these two groups are not do not differ significantly let's take we will take an example example is i had collected 45 students data 45 students you could see here 45 students data and uh, in this data i had collected pre marks and post marks pre marks means before giving any remedial class one stands for in my example here is the not we will replace it i mean that would be 0 and 1 i had fed it in sps as 0 and 1 but here is the 1 and 2 no problem 0 and 1 we will treat it and uh, when we talk about this thing uh, let's say i mean i am putting up or i am replacing all the one values with 0 here is still here this one so Right zero, and I am giving value two replacing with one, right? And uh, I am replacing this value with one. Sorry, same thing that would be applicable here. One will be replaced with zero, right? Because we had collected data, and then I am going to explain you what is the meaning of zero and what is the meaning of one. Here is. Uh, this would be zero and two. We are going to replace with one. So zero and one, right? Only this data we will feed in our SPSS file. Paste it right. So zero means those students those have greater than fifty percent marks. Pre marks before attending any remedial class, and one means. students are uh, students have scored less than 50% marks but after post marks means after attending remedial class this zero again meaning is same zero means greater than 50% marks and one means one means here is less than 50% marks so we want to check whether these remedial classes are giving any impact on students marks or there is any improvement in their marks in their performance we want to check through this co-current test this is my hypothesis null hypothesis i had already created 
there is no significant improvement in the marks of the students. That means we are presuming this thing. There is no improvement in the students' marks uh, after providing this remedial classes. That means these remedial classes are not giving any impact on the students' performance. So let's go to SPSS file. SPSS file, once again, I will show you data view. We would like to see in three categories, serial number three columns are required, serial number pre-marks and post-marks. So here is how we have to define serial number, right? There is the uh, nominal again, because we had just assigned these 45 students just a number, right? And pre means pre-remedial classes, these marks, and we can say values I had defined, zero means more than 50% marks and one equal to less than 50% marks, right? We will press okay. Post means post-remedial classes. Again, we have taken a test. Again, we have scored these marks. So zero means more than 50% marks. One means less than 50% marks. So I'm sure till here, this data you could see here. Now we can see here one, right? one two so we can check whether what is one so we can check it here less than 50 percent marks that means one reflecting less than 50 percent marks same is here we can check one means less than 50 percent marks right and we will click on two so you can see here right whether this one is the two means here is you could see here two means I'm sorry, there is no two actually, actually, actually. We had pasted here. We had already replaced. This is zero. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This data again, I have to delete this data because in, in our word table, we have already defined there. If you could see here, I have already defined here zero and one. I had replaced here the same data we will copy there in my SPSS file. That is why it's not picking up. SPSS is a machine, is a software that should be very particular about this thing. So, okay. see here, mm, we'll paste it here. Now, now this is the correct data, right? So, we had already copied from Word document now. Now you could see here, uh, zero zero because i don't want any decimal points so i will zero and i will zero these decimal points now you could see here see zero means we can we can check zero means more than 50 percent marks same thing we have defined there and when we will click on less than 50 percent mark so here is one one means less than 50 percent mark same is here right same is here i think we will delete this data Mm. clear again clear again clear these three right we don't require right so same is here zero means more than 50 percent marks and when we will click on somewhere is the two is here so here is the sorry one is here so you could see here less than 50 percent mark. this is zero means more than 50 percent marks and one means less than 50 percent marks Correct. Now, now we will start test analyze. We will go there, non-parametric test, and we will click on related samples. Right, related samples. Again, fields. We will reset it. Pre-remedial is our test field. Post-remedial is again our test field. And uh, settings here is custom test because McNema test already we did it in the last videos. And here is co-occurrence Q test, K sample test, right? And all I need pairwise rather than stepwise step. So all pairwise and we will run. So now you could see here non-parametric test. This test, this the, these results are here. The distribution of pre-remedial and post-remedial are the same, right? Related samples, co-occurrence, Q test, 0 0.03. That means reject the null hypothesis. We will copy this thing and we will paste it on our Word document. Now you could see here, this is our Word document. So distribution of pre and post are the same, right? 
and here is the related sample co-occurrence skew test 0 0.003 reject the null hypothesis why reject the null hypothesis because significant value significance value you could see here is it is less than 0 0.05 and what we said here the, what we said, if our values interpretation is, if the significant value is greater than 0 0.05, then fail to reject null hypothesis, right, greater than. But this value is less than, so that is why we are rejecting null hypothesis, right. Now, further we will go to SPSS file, then we can see here, we will double click on this. Now you could see here. Hypothesis test summary right related sample co-occurrence skew test now you could see uh, very beautifully they had uh, explained here total number of 45 test statistics 9 degree of freedom 1 and significance level is 0 0.003 so you could see here here is 51 percent right pre pre-remedial classes 51 percent students they have got right blue means Zero, zero, zero. What is defined? More than fifty percent marks. But forty-nine percent students they have got less than fifty percent marks. One means you could see here. And uh, post remedial, when we will see this data, seventy-one percent students they have got uh, more than fifty-one percent marks, and twenty-nine percent only they have got less than fifty percent marks. So that means there is the improvement. That shows improvement of the remedial classes right so uh, we have proven this thing because there is the variation in the marks after pre and post marks after after giving them after providing them these remedial classes now we come to the here is the on the this side you can see here related sample right and here is when we will click on categorical field information then you could see here these curves also there. We will play, we, we will also copy these curves here, right? Okay. So more than 50% marks, less than 50% marks. So total number 45, that is also. So now the less than 50% marks, uh, students number is little bit lesser than more than 50% marks in the pre-remedial, right? But when we talk about post-remedial, see, see, look at here. Look at here. Categorical field information. Now this is the drastical change. Less than 50% marks number is is it is lower down and count is and more than 50% marks number is increased after providing them remedial classes. Right. So this is the one thing that uh, we can see. Right. And after that. We come to the again analyze, then we will go to non-parametric test, legacy dialog box. Then we will go to legacy dialog box. This is the K-related samples. We will click on this and uh, pre-remedial test, test variable, post also test. Here is you could see here, no Friedman test we require to uncheck this and Check this co-occurrence Q test, right? Exact, right? We require this statistics. Yes, descriptives we want. So we will click on this, continue, and then we will press OK. Now, these are the test has come. So we will copy all those things in my Word document, in my output file. And where is I will report to output tables. I will paste it here. All these three, all these three tables. Uh, this one is the frequency also I want in my Word document. So I will paste it here. And once again, this test value, test statistics is also I required in my Word document because visibility is more in my Word document. That's why I paste it here. So come to come, come, uh, because we would like to analyze this thing pre-remedial. Total number of cases 45. Right, mean value 0.49, standard deviation 0 0.06, and minimum value is zero because zero we had given for this. Those students have scored uh, more than 50% marks, and one we had given to those students have got less than 50% uh, marks. Post remedial, when we come to the 45, right, 0.29 mean, and standard deviation 0 0.5, 0 0.458, and zero, and once again, post remedial also. Frequencies you could see here. Uh, pre-remedial 23 students scored 
23 students scored more than 50% marks right but in in the in the pre remedial before uh, before attending this remedial classes 22 students uh, have got out of 45 they have got uh, less than 50% marks but post remedial after attending these remedial classes you could see here 32 students have got more than 50% marks and now only 13 students left out those have got less than 50% marks so this is the bifurcation is here and test we can see concurrence q test that's the this one is the we had applied this 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 test n equal to 45 and concurrence q test value is the 9 and significance value is 0 0.03 and uh, here is the 0 0.03 same results we had obtained 0 0.03 that means the value is the less than 0 0.05 our interpretation is saying same thing less than 0 0.05 that is why we will reject null hypothesis null hypothesis what it said null hypothesis said there is no significant improvement in the marks of the students but but no, we have rejected this. Alternate, alternate hypothesis said there is a significant improvement in the marks of the students. So uh, this, this we have proven through this our hypothesis testing. So this is again we can summarize this thing. Number one, co-current Q test where we are going to apply. Number one is data should be non-parametric. Number two paired nominal data we require number three it should be dichotomous either yes or no so then we can accept this uh, null hypothesis and we have to generally we use rather than reject null hypothesis we, uh, if we are accepting null hypothesis so we are we usually say fail to reject null hypothesis right so this thing uh, i'm sure um, this test would be very helpful to you when you are using categorical data when you are using um, this one's the dichotomous data so this test would be easy and uh, you could be able to and concepts are clear more helpful and if you have any doubt please write me in my in, in the comment box and definitely i will answer the your questions i will answer your queries and uh, definitely i will and in the in, in the next videos definitely we have to go for this mankova spss analysis right thank you everyone thanks a lot